Yeah, you know, my first time ever coming to this food bank was last week, and it was a really humbling experience driving up and seeing just the line of cars stretching here from the warehouse, really all the way out to the street at times throughout that morning. Uh, but that's, you know, really how it's been for a long time here. People really lining up and without the food inside, they know they may not be able to put dinner on the table that night. And so at the same time, you also had the food bank with numerous volunteers doing different jobs, making sure everything ran smoothly. Now with the holidays coming up, of course, this is the time when people tend to really think about this kind of need and, and donating. But this is actually a 365 day a year effort. No surprise there. People are always in need and it's only gotten busier, I'm told, since the start of the pandemic. I know. I think overall we've had uh, about a 45% increase in our, our total output. The food bank's mission statement is to fight hunger and poverty in northeastern North Carolina. And, um, you know, we're just trying to chip away at that every single day and do what we can. Now, so much of that comes from community support, right? With food drives and fundraisers throughout the year. Again, not just during the holidays. Specifically, I'm told money is actually the most helpful way to help because food banks can take a dollar and they can turn that into about four meals. And that's where our Feed the Need drive comes into play, donating money to allow the food bank to provide as many meals as possible. Not just this food bank, but also the food banks in Hampton Roads as well. As we said at the top of this story, this is the last day to donate. So we would love any help that you're able to give. Just click on this story at WTKR.com. It's right at the top. Just go to our website and all the directions are there. We're live here in Elizabeth City. Anthony Sabella, News 3.